which stands for random access memory. And this is where CPU holds whatever information or instructions that you care to give him from time to time. For example, some instructions like this, CPU will put straight into his RAM box and then go away and mark time until you give him the command run. CPU will then return to the RAM box and read the first instruction, which tells him to print something. CPU promptly nips across to his ROM box and looks up how to print. Then he prints something and gives it to you at the output hatch. Next, CPU trots over to his RAM box again and reads the next instruction, which contains the command go to. Back to the ROM box to find out how to go to, then go to instruction number one in the RAM box, which tells CPU to print something. Then it's over to the ROM box to find out how to print, because CPU has forgotten already. Then he prints something and gives it to you at the output hatch. Then back to the RAM box to read the next instruction, which contains the order go to. Of course, he's forgotten that, so over to the ROM box to find out how to go to. Then go to instruction number one in the RAM box, which tells CPU to print something. Then back again to the ROM box to find out how to print, and so on and so on and so on. The only thing that keeps this dim-witted little bureaucracy in business is that CPU moves with lightning speed. So fast, in fact, that he can give you the illusion that you're dealing with a very clever outfit indeed. You no sooner ask for something, than it's done. The naive reality behind this illusion is hidden from you. Because all that this office consists of is CPU and his two memory boxes, ROM and RAM, and the input and output hatches. And that's all that any computer consists of. And even this can be reduced to three basic elements when you come right down to it. Input, output, CPU, and memory. Let's see, input, output, CPU, and memory. You know, it all seems pretty simple. It's simple, but it's also very powerful. With those three basic elements, the computer can do a lot of different things. And up to this point, we've only seen how it repeats information. But it could carry on a sort of dialogue with you, if you like. Why don't you load that disk beside the pet, and you'll see. OK. Now type deload for disk load. And the name of the program, Word Hunt. Type a quote sign, and then Word Hunt, all one word. Okay, quote. 